Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of my weight loss journey and also being low carb, eating the ketogenic diet and living the ketogenic diet lifestyle, I want to show you how I prepared this meal. It's chicken with spaghetti squash and the recipe, the person that I learned this from is, he, is here on YouTube and I will link the video down in the description bar below. I also tweak it to make it my own so you can learn from people and then add things to make it your own to suit your own taste. This recipe is very easy to make so if you want to learn how I achieve this recipe stay tuned and I'll walk you through it. But before I start please don't forget to share this video like and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in my next I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Before we start, if my waist seems so small, it's not because I lost that much weight. I'm waist training using the J Sculpt waist trainer and it's been doing wonders. I've had it for almost a month now and I have seen a lot of changes. And if you guys want, I can do a video, but I want to do it like maybe in another month. I can really tell you the progress that I have been making but so far it's been less than a month and I have seen some changes so don't think that my waist is this small I just want to put it out there so this meal um, the ingredients that you need you will need um, red bell peppers that I've already prepared you will need fennel I always want to say leek this is fennel you will also need parsley that I've already washed and half a red onion. Also, you will need your spaghetti squash. You will need lemon. You will also need um, pecans, not pecans, sorry. You will need walnuts. And this is the only walnuts that I have. You need more than this, but this is all I have for today. Without talking too much, let's start with preparing the spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna divide it in two. And one tool that I use to help me do this because I'm always cooking this like maybe once a week. And so I learned to use my meat ten tenderizer. I sometimes will use a rolling pin too. So you're gonna cut open the spaghetti squash in two. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Now get a spoon and you will scoop out the seeds. So with the squash deseeded, I'm going to get a baking sheet, line it with parchment paper, and then put the squash in. I'll move this for now. The next thing you would do is have good olive oil and then drizzle the squash with oil. And then move the oil all around, make sure that it's very saturated. Next, use a good amount of salt and I'm using pink Himalayan salt so that you will not have to season it after you baked it, after it's baked. So I just use a good amount of salt. And I, I really can't tell you like how much to use. Maybe use like maybe a tablespoon and a half of salt and then pepper just grind some pepper on top of it if I can open hit your oven up to 400 and 400 degrees and then cook the spaghetti squash for no longer than one hour. I only cook it for about 40 minutes because I like it very crunchy. 
so i don't cook it for an hour but if you want it very soft cook it for an hour so i will put this in for anywhere between 35 minutes to 40 minutes and i'll be right back the next step is to prepare your chicken because if i it, this meal also comes with chicken and the ingredients that i use because i've already seasoned the chicken before i decided to film me cooking so the chicken is seasoned and i seasoned it with olive oil salt of course i have my Himalayan thing salt black pepper i also have ginger powder cumin and this garlic and onion blend seasoning that i got from ross so this is what i use to season the chicken and then also you can also put the chicken in the oven heated at four 400 degrees and you can cook the chicken until the way you like it if you like it very um well done then leave it in for an hour but if not take it out at the same time that you will take the spaghetti squash out of the oven which is about 40 minutes i will take it out so i'm gonna prepare the baking sheets and also put the chicken in the in the oven so when you are done put it in the oven and like i said leave it in depending on how well done you want it leave it for an hour if you are like me you will take it out the same time that you take out the spaghetti squash so i will be right back to prepare the vegetables for the vegetables we're going to use half a half red onions and we're going to cut it lengthwise the red bell pepper that i've already cleaned we're gonna cut that one also lengthwise then now we're gonna prepare the why do i want to say like funnel so i have one bulb of funnel like medium sized bulb of funnel that i've already cleaned out and same as the onions and the red bell pepper i'm cutting everything lengthwise the next thing i will do is to dice up the parsley so this is the parsley and i've already cleaned this already so i don't have to clean it all i have to do is dice it and i'm going to take off the stem and finally chop the parsley I'm gonna go ahead and also chop up the walnuts and usually I use more walnuts than I'm using today because I haven't gone grocery shopping for my nuts for my nuts I haven't gone grocery shopping yet so I'm just gonna use what I have today and it should be okay so far as I get like a cup a cup of chopped chopped up walnuts i should be fine so the walnut is chopped up i'm waiting for the spaghetti squash to be ready in order to in order for me to put the rest of the ingredients together so stay tuned and i'll be right back to prepare the spaghetti squash primavera and by that time the chicken should also be ready i'll be back so into the cooking pan <clears throat> i'm gonna drizzle about two tablespoons of olive oil into my cooking pot and make sure it gets um, a little bit heated before I add my vegetables to it. I will add the vegetables that I prepared earlier. I ended up cutting one more bulb of the funnel to add to it because I like the taste of the funnel. using 
using that micro planer. I'm going to grate garlic. Okay, I also when I had and um, used a fork to take out the spaghetti squash to save time. I have to pick up my daughter from school, so I want to save time. So I went ahead, but all you have to do is just, you know, rake it and um, everything comes out. And like I said, you can make it as mushy as you want or as um, crunchy as you want. And I like mine on the crunchy side. Now I'm just gonna mix all the ingredients together. Make sure that the vegetables that I just cooked down, you know, mesh with the spaghetti squash. You don't want to stir it too much too because you don't want to break it. You don't want to break it up. The next thing that I will add is the walnuts. I will also add dice up tomatoes. It's just one whole tomato that I dice up. The original recipe calls for cherry um, tomatoes or grape tomatoes, but I don't have one at the end, so I just improvise today. But usually I will put the cherry tomatoes in the oven for about maybe 10 minutes with apple cider vinegar, not apple cider vinegar, but um, balsamic vinegar. I'm not doing that step today. I'm just going to add just a little bit of apple cider vinegar to this recipe. Still using the micro planer, I'm going to zest one lemon. And I'm gonna add half a juice of half a lemon juice to the pot. Half a lemon juice to the pot. And just stir everything together and then give it a taste. See if I like the salt. If not, I can add more salt. Also check for the to see if it needs more lemon and I can add the other half of the lemon. You can always add, you can take away, so just um, add things very slowly so you don't overdo it. Which I think with this one, you can't really overdo anything. But just, you know, be careful in general when cooking. The next ingredient that I will add is the parsley that I diced earlier. Just mix everything together. Make sure that the parsley incorporates into the spaghetti squash and the rest of the vegetables and the pecans that, not pe why do I want to say pecans? Um, the walnuts that you put in also um, goes in very well. You don't want to overcook this because I'm gonna, this is like my meal prep too. So my family will eat half of this for dinner tonight and then the rest I will meal prep with it. So you don't want to overcook it because you're going to be putting it in the microwave again. And you don't want it, you don't want it to get mushy. So at this point, I'm just going to taste to see if I need more, more salt and um, the lemon. Salt is good. It's very lemony and garlicky. I like it that way. The only thing I'm, I don't think I have enough of is the walnuts, which I like it crunchy too, like I said. 
and the walnut makes it you know more crunchy and I don't have enough in here today but with that way it turns out very well I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and plate and then we will be right back so I'm done with the meal the rest of the chicken my family is going to have for dinner and then um, the, sp the spaghetti squash primavera the, my family will have the rest for dinner but I also have a leftover for tomorrow or Friday to use for my lunch I love this meal it's very simple I can meal prep this ahead of time and it's very 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 good the chicken came out very juicy the skin is very crispy well not too crispy but enough to hear some crunch very nice the spaghetti squash primavera tastes very 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 good thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in another video bye guys